I have the actual fix for Intel's problems. The whole tech scene has been talking about this for months. Yet, all the YouTubers just talk about the issue, talk bad about Intel, and nobody's telling you how to fix it. Because yes, it is actually fixable and very easy to fix. So first off, let's get straight into how to fix it. I don't want to waste your guys' time. So in case you're here, you can just copy the settings, make your CPU work stable. And then after, in case you want to stay, I will discuss why this is happening, why nobody can tell you how to fix it, and why fixing it is kind of like manually overclocking your CPU. Anyways, let's get straight into it. So to fix this, fix 13th and 14th gen Intel CPUs from crashing. Basically, you need to go on Google and type on Google the model of your CPU and then Intel R. For example, let's do an example with the i9-13900K. So you want to just type i9-13900K Intel Arc. Open the page and it's going to tell you all the values about your CPU. Now you want to find the P-Core performance core turbo boost ratio. And uh, for the i9-13900K, it's going to be 5.4 gigahertz. Now take this number, convert it into ratio. So basically if it's 5.4, it's going to be 54. Just take off the zero, take off the dot, subtract two. So make it 52. Follow me with this. You now want to go into your motherboard's BIOS, go into the AI tweaker or overclocking or OC section. Now the name will vary uh, depending on your motherboard's vendor. I will put some footage showing you how to do it on a random motherboard, but then motherboard vendor will have a different name. I have a whole undervolting playlist where I show different uh, undervolts for different motherboards, so you can just go check it out there. But anyways, you want to input that number. So if it was 5.4 minus 2, 52, you want to put that into the core ratio. Okay, so put that into the core ratio, and then we want to do a slight tiny undervolt. So again, I have tutorials on the channel very detailed on how to do it, but basically we go find the CPU core voltage, which may be called vCore voltage, CPU voltage, something like that. You find it and you put it on offset mode. You put the negative sign on it and then you input minus 0 0.01. It's not over yet. We then want to go and make sure that we do not have too high of a memory overclock. Now listen, I know what you guys are going to tell me if you're enthusiasts. You tested your memory and memory is stable. Yes, but uh, it may still be the cause of the crashes, okay? So 6,000 is going to be what you want to set it at. Possibly if you're unlucky, even lower. So if you have higher than 6,000 megahertz RAM, just enable the XMP and then manually put the frequency to 6,000 or a bit lower. I recommend, really, if you don't care about performance, put it to 5600. And uh, this is it, okay? So if you want to just close the video, just, just copy this, and your CPU will start stop crashing. It's not going to degrade over time anymore. It's going to just run perfectly. Good, we fixed it. Now, in case you want to stay, ah, by the way, if you want to close the video, maybe drop a like and subscribe to the channel to support me. Let's dig deeper into this. And I will also tell you how to do this static option because this is dynamic, but you can also just use a static vCore if you want. So for the static option and also for the memory, by the way, I have watched Techia Series video. He, is, he goes very in depth as to what's happening. And I think it's the best video on the subject at the moment out there. So in case you just wanna uh, hear about it, I really recommend his latest video. It's about the new BIOS revision because Intel released a new BIOS saying it was gonna fix the problem, but in actuality, it is just overvolting the CPU more. And uh, I, I actually tested this too. And it's just bad, not a good fix. So if you wanna go static, you can also just go on your CPU vCore and manually put it to 1.3 volt. And uh, if you do that, you will then have to match the IMC voltage, so the memory controller voltage to the CPU vCore because it cannot be higher, just overclocking things. And uh, also, I've seen this from Techia City, and a uh, nice reminder. But uh, anyways, if you want to do static, you can just 1.3 on the vCore and the IMC. This is going to lower your temperature a bit, but also uh, you may have to lower your core ratio a bit more. Also, if you want to have the time to test the settings out, you can just, uh, some CPUs I've seen, they are stable even with minus one uh, on the ratio. So for example, very good friends of mine, they have uh, i9-1300Ks, both of them, and both of them are stable with 53. I was telling you 52 just because uh, I've seen a lot of CPUs that need 52, but if you're lucky, you may be able to get 53 running. Now, let's get on to why nobody's telling you how to fix it and why Intel is not releasing a BIOS fixing this. It's because they sell you the CPU with a certain advertised 
speed. And if they release a BIOS, which will make the CPU run a bit slower, even if it's just uh, 1% or 0.5%, uh, the changes I'm making you make are gonna slow down your CPU by five, by very little, like real world 2%, but they are slowing down your CPU a bit. So what happens is uh, Intel cannot legally release a fix that's lowering your core clock because if they do, it means they advertise a speed that is not reachable, if it makes sense. So that's the main issue behind this problem. It's not like technical issue, difficulty, we cannot fix the problem. It's just they cannot because of warranty issues. So I have to tell you because they cannot tell you if it makes sense. So what they are doing is they release the new BIOS overvolt in the CPU because again, what's happening is the CPU is simply unstable. So it's running with too much voltage and uh, it's degrading over time and it is unstable. So by giving it more voltage, we are compensating for the reduction in quality in the silicon due to overvolting, uh, as if you overclocked your CPU too hard. Like if you had an i7-4790K running at 4.8 gigahertz with 1.425 volts, uh, over time, it would stop working. You would have to up the voltage to 1.45. If you've been overclocking, you know those things. And uh, basically, they are now just overvolting the CPU, so it's gonna run better. But uh, the more voltage you give it, the faster it's gonna degrade again. This fix is not a fix, pretty much. Like, it fixes it, but it's gonna have other issues, maybe in one year from now. But they cannot tell you how to fix it. Also, on this note, another thing I've checked personally, a lot of people are gonna not like me for this recommendation, but the i9 14900KS, latest one, doesn't have all these problems. If you have a very high-end PC and you just want maximum performance and you have an Intel platform, you don't wanna switch to AMD, also because the i9 is faster than the Ryzen 9 and multi-thread, uh, the KS is a CPU to get. A few clients of mine, I recommend they get the KS because they, they don't have a budget problem and they just want to run the game to the maximum and they want to keep Intel. So that if you just buy the 1400KS, you're going to be fine. I know it's a very expensive CPU, but it's just if you have a 1400K and you're having issues and you don't want to compromise on the core clock, the solution is to buy the KS. I know it's not the best to say, but it's also a solution I've encountered and it's working. Also, just one last thing I, I'd like to talk about. This also is probably going to be just a little bit controversial. All of this is basically AMD's fault. And uh, I, I know a lot of guys are gonna dislike me for this, but it's true because AMD introduced a few years back PBO with the algorithm boosting a lot higher. And so they could advertise higher clock speeds and also have a bit more performance in single threading benchmarks, even though they were compromising a bit of multi-threaded and also CPU life, as we saw with the issue with the Ryzen 5 3600. And so Intel, to keep up, they did the same, but worse. And so here we are today. But anyways, let me know if this fixes your CPU. It, it, it's gonna fix it, actually. I've tested it on a lot of systems and uh, nothing. If it actually helps or if you find the videos interesting, uh, drop a like and subscribe to the page. I have many more videos, again, and tutorials on the channel. And I hope to see you guys again uh, in the near future. Bye-bye.